Homo sapiens. Mass Effect is a game about humanity's role in the galaxy, but it easily could have been about one of our close relatives, such as Homo heidelbergensis, the Denisovans, Homo ergesta, or the Neanderthals. Now what we do know is these distant cousins were wiped out due to natural disasters, depletion of resources, viruses, lack of food or violence from us, Homo sapiens. But what if that wasn't the case? Similar to the way the Protheans watched over the Asari and guided them, it's possible a Prothean faction or Densorian from a previous cycle migrated them to a safe haven when they realized they were due to go extinct. Or similar to the way the Protheans viewed the Solarians back then as a delicacy, our relatives might have been moved to a distant planet to farm more efficiently. And for one very good reason, the inhabitants, whether that be the Protheans or Densorian of this planet, left abruptly. And that reason was the Reapers. As for our close relatives, the Reapers deemed them, along with the other members of the current cycle like the Osiris and Solarians, not intelligent enough to harvest. The question you're asking now is if they survived the Protean cycle like we all did, then why didn't we encounter them in our cycle, Shepherd's cycle? Cycle 6 to 4. Why are they technically appearing in this cycle after us? But what you must understand is, in the grand scheme of things, a couple of hundred years or a thousand is nothing. The Osiris discovered a citadel in 580 BCE. 80 years later, the Solarians arrive and the citadel council is formed between them. 200 years later, they meet the Volos. 300 years after that, the Rachni Wars start. 80 years onwards, we meet the Krogans. 220 years later, the Krogans defeat the Rachni and are hailed as heroes. 400 years in the future, the Krogan rebellions happen. And around the same time, the contact with the Turians is established. A hundred years later, the Krogan rebellions end with the dropping of the Genophage. 1095 years later, the Morning War begins. 262 years later, the first contact war starts. Shortly thereafter, the Reapers arrive. What I'm trying to make is being spacefaring or what I should say is being late to the party doesn't dictate intelligence or progress. The Torians were on the scene and had access to the mass relay technology for over a thousand years before humanity and we were still able to go toe to toe with them during the first contact war or the relay 314 incident as they call it. So based on all this the cousins are clear, they just barely escaped the cycle and we just barely made it in. If that reasoning isn't good enough for you, we can say that Neanderthals or Denisovan's slow rise was due to natural disasters, adapting to a new environment, dealing with the strains of the new gravity or an increase in competition on this newly homed planet. But regardless of which reason you want to subscribe to, approximately 120 years after the Reapers were defeated, they find the Relay. And for them, just like humanity, a new story begins. Now I know it's not the most exciting new race, but I'm thinking about the dynamics and how this will play out on a personal scale to humanity. We have different humanoid-like creatures and fantasies such as elves, dwarves. Let's sci-fi have a few. Yeah, 